so today i am going to explain about the load test on dc sunt motor okay so that was actual circuit diagram this is the input dc supply okay so in the dc supply doesn't have any frequency we all know so that is the positive and negative then dp st switch that is the double pole single throw switch okay once if you are closed the supply is start conducting from the pay, uh, positive to this point so similarly negative also it is getting closed so after getting uh, closing dp st switch here we can measure the voltage input voltage that is the 0 to 300 volt dc okay this is the positive this is the negative similarly the ammeter also you need to connect to measure the input current positive and negative then this is for the three pan starter it has all the three terminals l f a the line field armature okay so the input line then field this supply is going for the field winding that is the f1 and f2 that is the field winding similarly the armature winding the a1 and a2 it's have the two windings it's connected in parallel that's why we can call it as dc sunt motor okay so we are conducting the load test so the load test means we need to connect on additional brake drum so it is the mechanical coupling so uh, that is it is actually built so it is the brake drum arrangement so that is the s1 that is the spring balance reading one s2 spring balance reading two okay so uh, you can give the connection as per this circuit diagram so this is the variable rheostat it was the minimum position is indication of minimum position because the we need to after starting of this particular starter that is the three pan starter the initially we need to we need to reduce the current flow in the field winding so that is why we connected one rheostat that range was 300 1.5 ampere okay so so uh, we can connect as per this diagram we can connect all the elements then we can conduct the test so we initially you can uh, give the supply and you can uh, uh, measure the speed of the dc sunt motor so the speed it should be uh, below 1500 rpm because we are kept in the minimum position of your start so uh, then you can start uh, adjusting to and you can fix the speed for 1500 rpm so you can vary the your start until you are achieving 1500 rpm that was the initial no load test so uh, at the time the during the no load uh, you can uh, measure the reading of uh, volt meter as well as ammeter and the pre balance reading s1 and s2 that was the zero because it is the no load okay after that gradually you can apply the load that is the s1 as well as s2 it is the break uh, bring balance reading so this was the adjustment you can uh, vary the terminal and you can apply the load up to rated current rating okay if the rated current rating of the particular machine may be the 9 ampere or 12 ampere or 15 ampere okay so as per the uh, as per the current rating of the connected machine you can vary the load up to the rated current gradually so if it is if your our machine is 9 ampere you can apply the load uh, step by step so if you are connected uh, for the no load you can take the one reading 220 volt and current was maybe the no load current it was very low that may be the 2 ampere so the s1 was zero and s2 zero then the speed 1500 rpm then we can the torque we have formula and the remaining all we can uh, have the formula to calculate remaining all parameter so that was the actual experimental reading voltage as well as current and s1 and s2 and speed you have to note it okay then you can apply the load so while you are applying the load the s1 and the s2 it is getting varied so so it may be the 3 or 5 for the initial load at the time while you are applying the load the current may be increase may be the 4 6 8 if you are uh, connected to the 9 ampere you can apply uh, gradually load up to the rated current likewise you can apply and you can measure the corresponding reading the 220 or 219 218 like that whatever the reading you may getting so that all you may note it so similarly the spring balance reading also maybe the 6 8 uh, uh, maybe the 10 12 likewise okay so you may uh, at the same time the speed also while you are applying the load the speed it may getting reduced 1480 1400 1380 it may like 
the speed is actually getting reduced because it is the dc shunt motor while you are applying the load gradually the speed is it is getting down speed is getting reduced okay so likewise you can note all the reading up to the rated current you can note down the reading then you can find the a torque and power input and the power output and the efficiency this all we have the formula the torque in the sense we have the formula that is the the s1 and s2 that is the difference between the brake balance reading that is the s and radius of the brake drum so here we connected on uh, brake drum no so that brake drum you can uh, note it down and you can find uh, the radius of the brake drum using this formula 2 pi r you can measure the circumference of the radius of the circumference of the brake drum and you can find the find the radius of the brake drum through this expression okay so after finding of radius of the brake drum then the t was the thickness of the belt here we are connected one belt so maybe in our brake drum it's already uh, we uh, we considered uh, in the brake drum itself so we we not uh, we we not consider for the thickness of the belt actually if the thickness of the belt is more so you have to consider thickness of the belt also in meter so that is the formula the 9.81 that is the gravity of force you while you are using this formula you can find the torque value all the torque you can find it out then power input that is the v and i you can multiply and you can find the power input power similarly the power output we have the formula that is the 2 pi nt divided by 60 that is the 2 pi nt divided by 60 that is the output power formula 2 pi that is constant n is the speed and t is the torque that also we calculated so that is 60 also constant you can calculate the power also then the efficiency it is have the another one formula then output power by the input power into 100 that is the percentage of efficiency we can find so likewise we can find all the parameter that is the output parameter so from that we can analyze the machine performance characteristics that is the electrical characteristics and the mechanical characteristics and the performance characteristics so the electrical characteristics in the sense you consider the armature current that is the input current and the speed input current versus torque if you are consider the uh, electrical characteristics that is the input current that is the armature current versus speed armature current versus torque okay if you are obtained that characteristics that is the that is the electrical characteristics if in the mechanical characteristics in the sense that is the speed and the torque characteristics that is the mechanical characteristics so we are combining all the characteristics that is the performance uh, criteria or performance uh, characteristics of the dc shunt motor so after calculation of this uh, all parameter you can make the graph like that that is the output power is commonly you can take in the x axis then uh, then the uh, this axis you can take remaining all parameter that is the armature current and uh, efficiency and the torque and the speed okay so that is the speed when you are applying the load the power output power is getting increased then the speed it is getting reduced similarly the arm, uh, armature current also while you are applying the load the armature current also proportionally increased okay it, it, this curve will, it will become like that similarly the torque also getting increased then the efficiency efficiency it's started from zero because we are started the no load the no load the s1 and s2 was zero so if it is you are substituted zero the torque also zero if the torque zero power also zero so it is started out from the zero so after all the reading you can make the graph it will come it is slightly it is may increase after max reaching the maximum point again it is getting down so that is the efficiency so this performance characteristics we can uh, find uh, through this uh, load test this similarly we can conduct the load test for the dc series motor and the dc common motor also okay that time the starter only the different here in the dc shunt motor we are using for the three point starter in dc series motor we are using two point starter dc common motor we are using four point starter apart from that nothing different but uh, the connection may be a little bit different but actual procedure of uh, load test you can apply the load gradually up to the rated current rating and you can calculate remaining all parameter and you can uh, draw the performance characteristics curve to analyze the performance of the machines okay this is the about the load test on dc shunt motor if you have any further doubt you may ask i will tell you 
this this test particular test is naturally suitable for the manufacturing process after manufacturing of this particular machine they may be started for the performance analysis uh, while you are purchasing any machines or any materials they are uh, uh, placing one label like uh, uh, qc tested okay right they may be placed like that so the qc test that, that is the quality test so the, the that particular test of this particular machine they may be do for the load test normally the load test it may uh, it it can capable to analyze the various performance of the machines including the efficiency so uh, the, for the manufacturing process immediately they may test then they will be uh, sending into the market for uh, that particular product still if you are having any doubt you may ask sir why the speed is getting reduced yeah why the speed is getting down good question okay the speed was getting reduced because you may say because when you are applying the load okay it is the dc shunt motor so it is the armature winding and the field winding it is connected in parallel so while you are applying the load okay while you are applying the load automatically the speed it is getting reduced because because of the current okay because because while you are applying the load the load has been gradually increased no so while you are applying due to the friction or due to the load the current increasing so while you are applying more load the speed is getting reduced because the armature winding and field winding is connected in parallel that is the one thing and the dc series motor uh, that was the armature winding and uh, field winding it is connected in series so you have to start with some initial load but the common mind motor it is little bit different but this particular machine uh, it is like a dc motor uh, in the asynchronous mode so while we are applying the load the speed it is getting down up to the rated current we can apply the load so beyond the load beyond the rated current if it is keep on you are applying the load the uh, he, here also the speed is getting down after sudden stage or maximum rated current you want the uh, load is reached in the maximum condition the maximum minimum maximum speed was 1200 or 1250 it may reach okay after that keep on if you are applying the load again the machine it is getting overloaded if the overloaded here we are having the production for the uh, three pan starter itself that is the overload release coil and and the nvr that is the no voltage release coil if it is overloaded the machine here here the as per the rated current here they are fixing the three pan starter once it, it is crossed that is the overload release coil it may getting operate and product the machine okay the supply is has been removed automatically but actual thing is it is the speed is not fully reduced but the speed is gradually reducing depends on the load up to the rated current maybe the rated speed is 1500 if keep on applying the load the uh, speed is getting down up to 1250 Are thousand two hundred RPM like that? Okay, that's the thing. Okay, thank you.